Tonight in Medical Rounds, doctors at Hartford Hospital are using a novel approach when it comes to weight loss surgery, one that does not require alteration of the GI tract or stomach. And here to explain more is Dr. Pavlos Papasavas. He is the director of research and co-director of the Surgical Weight Loss Program at Hartford Hospital. It's nice to see you again, Dr. Papasavas. Happy to be with you. Well, I understand this is an implantable device, so tell us how it works. So this is a new technology that was approved by FDA last year. It's a pacemaker type of device that has two electrodes that we place around the vagus nerves. The vagus nerves connect our brain to the stomach and they control how the stomach relaxes to receive food and how the stomach empties. So they're very important nerves for the function of the stomach. With this device, the person has less hunger and less uh, food intake. So it's a novel approach that allows people to lose weight without having to remove part of the stomach or reroute the intestines. Yeah, it sounds a lot simpler, at least the approach is. Tell us how the procedure went and, and how's the patient doing? So we did our first uh, surgery in May. It was the first uh, surgery, V-block surgery in Connecticut. Uh, it took about a little more than an hour to perform laparoscopically. The patient went home the same day. I just talked to him today. He came back from vacation. He's doing very well, losing weight nicely. Wonderful. I have a question about weight loss coming up. But before we get to that, who would be the best candidate for this type of procedure? So patients who have a body mass index between 35 and 45 and who have tried to lose weight in a supervised way in the last five years and failed to lose weight will be candidates for surgery. And the contraindication would be a patient who has cirrhosis or a patient who has another electrically powered implanted device like a pacemaker or a defibrillator or a patient who needs MRIs in the future. These patients can now have this uh, device placed. All right, well, let's get to that question then. How much weight can a patient lose with this procedure? And it's called the V-block as in Vegas block? Correct, it's called V-block, V-B-L-O-C. Uh, so with this surgery, the average excess weight loss is about 28, 30%, and in centers with dedicated uh, follow-up, it can reach to 40, 45%. To give you an example, with gastric bypass, you lose 75% of your excess weight. With a sleeve gastrectomy, you lose about 60, 65% of excess weight. So it's less. So with this surgery, if you have 100 pounds of extra weight, you lose about 30 to 45 pounds. Over what period of time? Over one year. Over one year. Okay, good to know. That's so interesting. We thank you so much, Dr. Papasavas.